Hi everyone, it's Nicole McGuirk, and this is the Mama Elephant Stampede Blog Hop for October 2013. And today I'm showcasing the Merry Greetings stamp set. This is a new stamp set for October, and it's perfect. It has all these wonderful greetings that have handwriting paired with a wonderful font and just really fun to create. And then it has a few little um, additional images with the stamp set. Now I'm die cutting the rectangular frame for my card using a new die from Mama Elephant. It has the stitched border around it and I die cut that from some black pattern paper that has kind of a chalkboard looking background since that's the kind of card I'm creating. And then the scalloped border I die cut from a piece of Teresa Collins Christmas paper that's that's very neutral with just some subtle text and stuff in the background. So here's my stamp set and here's that black piece that I've die cut and you can see it already has some distressing on it that makes it look kind of white. But what I like to do whenever I am embossing is use an embossing buddy or a some sort of a powder tool to wipe over the surface of my project because it helps those little specks of embossing powder not stick to anything but the actual stamped image. So I stamped one of the greetings from Merry Greetings there on the chalkboard type paper and I am going to use some white embossing powder to add white opaque powder to my greeting. Just tap that off a little bit and then if you can just pretend that you saw me emboss that. My embossing tool is, at, is in another area of my office. So I set that over, I'll set it over to the side. I'm just kind of laying out a couple of my other pieces there to see what I want to do, but I'm going to go emboss that really quick. And there's what it looks like. I'm going to take the little holly berries and holly leaves and I'm going to stamp them near the end of the word Christmas. And I'm going to stamp a trio of the little berries there using again the Versamark ink. I did not need to add additional powder. Sorry my head is in the way there. I wanted to make sure I got those lined up and didn't overlap them. But I want to make sure that I get those exactly where I want them. And then I'm going to use some red embossing powder. This is the Zing Rouge embossing powder, another opaque powder, and then I'll heat that up as well. Then I'll take the little leaves and stamp them right by the berries. And again, I'm going to take my embossing powder. This is the leaf color from American Crafts. I really like the Zing embossing powders there. Tap off all the excess and then I'll heat that up. And there is the the main stamping on my card. Now I'm going to take the Unicorn White Pigment Ink and stamp my greeting kind of right on top of that embossed image, but it's, it's slightly offset, so you kind of get that chalky outline, which gives a more realistic looking chalkboard card. Then I'm gonna take a white pen. This is the Sakura glaze pen, white glaze pen, and I'm gonna just add a little bit of embellishing to those holly berries. And then I'm going to take a little cat's eye ink pad. I could also use the unicorn white ink that I used to stamp over the greeting and an uh, ink blending tool or something. But the chalk, the chalk eye ink pad just worked easy. I had it on hand and so, and I'm just rubbing it in before it dries to kind of distress it even more and to make it look like a chalkboard that's been erased over and over. So I just use my fingers. You could, you could use a foam ink blending tool, something like that, if you don't want to get all inky. So there is what my chalkboard looks like. Just smooth that out just a tiny bit more. The next thing I'm going to do is add some embellishing to my card. Because this is a pretty neutral colored holiday card, I really wanted to make sure I added the pop of color there with the embossed holly berries and leaves. So you'll see what I'm see that here in just a little bit. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more detail by using my white pen to trace right over the stitching lines in that die cut rectangle. Just kind of helps draw it out a little bit, but it just that little bit makes the whole card pop. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please be sure to check out the rest of the Stampede projects both today, October 15th and tomorrow, October 16th on the Mama Elephant blog. Thanks for watching.